My name is Mason and I'm the lead editor for Cozy Cabin Studios. And my name is Andrew and I'm the lead game developer. Today we're going to go over how we added six power-ups, introduce you to our two new worlds, show you some of the new player mechanics, and change the main menu for the last and final time. Let's go! What do Mario, Fortnite, Pac-Man, and COD Zombies all have in common? Power-ups. A power-up is a game mechanic that adds temporary benefits or extra abilities to a player. This can be a speed boost, extra strength, or more health. Power-ups have the ability to change the overall flow of the game, so it's important that we come up with a plan. Yo, you got anything? Nope. When I hear the word power-up, I visualize the iconic power-up block from Mario. I mean, there's something about it. It's bright, it has some mystery behind it, and it gives me a slight urge to open it to see what power-up I get. So let's use these elements to make our own. All right, I got a box. It's not that bright. It has zero mystery and I don't really want to open it. To fix this, I beveled the edges, created some depth, and added some materials. Now that is a power up. With the model done, I passed it over to Andrew so he can add it to shove. Oh, that looks sweet. Let me start by writing some of the code to get it working. While Andrew's doing that, let's fix the main menu one more time. In previous devlogs, the main menu went from this to this. And now it's time to change it again because it can use some improvements. We started by deleting everything and replacing it with an empty gray room. Then we added some buttons for the different tabs. Here's the play button, settings, credits, and the quit button. We then created some artwork for the game mode buttons. Then last but not least, we added our player model in the middle. He randomly switches colors when you change tabs, and we added an Easter egg where he has a chance to be gold. At the time, we didn't know how rare it should be, so we asked you guys on our Instagram. The result was one out of 10,000 or 0.01%. Good luck trying to get it. I got the power box working in game. I created a spawn system where the box falls and lands in a random spot on the map, and I also made it spin around and change colors to make it even more tempting. But just to make sure you can follow it in the air, I added a dot underneath which makes it easier to track. When a player collides with the box, they are randomly given a power which is shown above their head, and they can use it whenever they want. But now all I have to do is code the actual powers. It's time to introduce you to our two new worlds, Zenlin and Greeklin. Zenlin is a world inspired by Japanese culture. In this world, you can find Tori gates, cube-shaped rocks, fluffy pink trees, and nice wavy grass. For Greeklin, we wanted to go for a Colosseum feel, so we added large pillars, rocks, statues made of gold, and more wavy grass. In our previous devlog, some of you mentioned that our grass looked a bit weird, and yeah, something did look off. So to fix this, we used the wavy version in other worlds like Grassland. Does it look better? Feel free to leave all your suggestions and ideas below. They help a lot. I finally finished the power-ups. The first one I coded was a speed boost, which is pretty self-explanatory, but all it does is double your movement speed for a short amount of time. I think all games need a damage buff, so we added one too. The KO boost doubles your KO power for one shove, so make sure not to miss. The next two are Mega and Mini. Using Mega turns you into a tank by increasing your shove range and KO power while reducing your movement speed. Whereas Mini shrinks your opponents making their shove range smaller, their power weaker, and their movement slower. Rapid Fire is a fun one. It completely removes the shove cooldown for a short amount of time, allowing you to get some crazy combos. And lastly, my favorite, Rush. Rush allows you to dash across the arena, allowing you to make plays like this, or clutches like this. Now that the power-ups are in, let's talk about the new player mechanics we added to make the gameplay way more intense, starting with the KO counter. As mentioned in the previous devlog, the shove knockback scales over time to make rounds faster. To make it more obvious and a little more intense, we added this knockback counter to the bottom of the screen. It counts up faster as the round goes on. I wonder what the limit is. Now, shoving is amazing and all, but wouldn't it be fun if there was a way to block it? Yes, yes it would. We created this shield that blocks any shove coming your way. The cool part is that the closer you are to the player that blocks, the further each of you fly. There will be a lot of crazy moments with these. As we're getting closer and closer to launch, we're proud to announce that Shove is officially on Steam and ready for you to wishlist. We've also launched our Cozy Cabin Discord where we post game updates and awesome images way before we talk about them in our devlogs. So join up. Anyways, thanks for watching.